Hello everybody! Welcome back to the Generation Jumble! Now, we are finally, finally made it to Loser's Bracket Finals. We have Roscado versus Minery. This took forever to get here, but it happened. It finally happened. And I am with the person who will be facing the winner of this in Grand Finals, that being Cyber DJ. How are you doing? I am doing pretty good right now. We're going to get a coffee in a little bit. We're just chilling here, waiting for the match. It's going to be a real fun one for you guys. It's going to be awful for us because we know what this is going to be. Yeah, like, we had this battle a, like, I think it was like two days ago. But, like, they had to call it off real quick. So we saw one match, and we have a decent idea on how this is going to go. But it should be interesting. Also, the best Double five. chancey pair lead. Oh, yeah. No pressure. Yeah, no pressure. Just the best of five. <laughs> By the way, you know this is a big deal? When Roscado changed his avatar. Oh, yeah. Didn't even, didn't even think about that. That's true. And yeah, gotta get the Gengar. Mm-hmm. What nickname is that? Gently? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, because you gotta remember, um, Midori's nicknames have a specific meaning. You got the Stallfish, you got Unlucky the Chansey, but what about Gently Gengar? Like, he gently puts you to sleep? I think that's what it's supposed to mean. I don't trust anyone named Gently with a face like that. I don't agree with that. Because that thing has Thunderbolt. Yeah. Well, maybe they just wanted a Queen Starmie switch in. I wouldn't agree with that play, but like, I can see some reasoning behind it. Of course. No special drop? Okay. That's unfortunate. Back to the Chansey, that's fine. Oh, we have Hypno again. I totally forgot they used this last time. Oh, that's a crit. I, I hate that they're using my meme pick. I, can't, I, I feel so bad for using Hypno, because now people actually think it's good. It, it's not. It's a meme. It's a meme pick I used, guys. Oh, that's lucky. Wait, but with Thunderbolt... What? I'm sorry. I would have damage calc that one. Yeah. You gotta remember, though. Roscado's game plan is trying to pressure Gengar as much as possible. There's a reason for that. But why don't we save that one for later? Yeah, we're gonna... Hopefully, like, Roscado, like, it pays off for him in the end. Like, this is probably a decent shot to, like, burn sweep turns on Chansey. Because, I know trust Chansey the process. Really trust you. the process. Yeah, trust the process. Always trust the process. Okay, burn off the, uh, thingies. Okay. This is getting annoying. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you would've went for a Thunder Wave there, you would've been the smartest player alive. Well, goddamn. Mittery is pers- This is one persistent bastard, holy shit. Yeah, this is the reason why, uh, we made this a best of five for the finales. Okay, there's the Annihilate. Uh, you wish. Uh, going for Ice Beast as soft boiled is interesting. Why would you sack the Chansey when you already have when you can have Freeze Claws? Not only that, but like you are already so low on Pokemon, and Minery has not lost a single one yet. To be fair, Midori is getting kind of lucky, but at the uh, same time... Yeah, you say that just when they get the freeze. I feel genuinely mad that I was hyping up Roscado when the first game he gets a freaking freeze on multiple Psychic Special Drops on the same Chansey. <laughs> uh, well, could we still have a chance? 
Now, Riscardo, please don't. Okay, go strong. I was gonna say, don't sack off your freeze claws. Wait for that. Yeah, Minery one. There's. Yeah, no, no, it, it's just over. But now that I see Riscardo's team, I'm not sure why you're talking about like harassing the Gengar in particular. I might explain the strategy later down the line, but it did require Gengar getting harassed. Mm. You know, taken care of, if you will. Let's just say Mittery did not think very well about this about his set of teams. Uh, and no, I'm not just talking about it being a gimmick. Well, at this point, I don't think it is a gimmick. Because they're using mostly just Gen 1 Pokemon, and it's not even going that bad for them. To be honest, I think Minery, at least for this first game, even though they, they got pretty lucky, I would still say that the, for the most part, they're just playing better. To be fair, Roscado is, you know, just his thing is all over the place, so, you know, yeah. that might be a factor in this. Probably. Um. Mm, not getting those special drops anymore now, are we? Oh, that crit matters. Oh no, I was stupid. I thought it was a crit psychic. Yeah, he's saving his psychics. That's very fair. Mm -hmm. Ooh! Ooh, that was clever. I do respect the play, though. That means that Hypno doesn't outspeed Alakazam. Because remember, if you rest and get rid of the paralysis, it doesn't get rid of the speed drop until you switch out. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, that is relevant. Oh. oh, okay. Takes out the Lapras. And remember, you got a healthy Annihilate for that Tauros. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit, balls. Okay, that's... Okay, that that's... Why do, how, do you, how do you feel, like, whenever you're in a game, and both Pokemon get full paralysis? You see that as unlucky or lucky? Um... I don't know what happens, but I know what does happen, and that's that my ass gets clenched. <laughs> hmm, I'm pretty sure Minari's last Pokemon is Tauros. Yeah, his last Pokemon was Tauros. Uh, so does Hypno even, like, I guess going for rest is fine, but I feel like with just how many more Pokemon you have than Roscado, I feel like it's just better to play aggressively. I don't trust the... Uh... I'm sorry, but I'm I. There's a replay. I call, there's a reason I call myself the replay guy. Hmm. I'm sorry. Uh. Okay, the hypno got paralyzed again. So it's probably just. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Okay. We have a game on our hands. Still, it looks well, like. Yeah. But the Zam is almost out of seismic tosses. That's a free switch in the Lapras. Lapras. Oh, there's the Confuse, Ray. Wait, how much- Wait, the match is already over. Oh, you must be ahead of me then. Oh, that's weird. Oh, yeah. Uh, should I, should I just skip to the end? I'm at turn 88 right now. That goes up to 103. Oh, god damn. Uh, do you want to just give me a quick TLDR on what happened then? Yeah, basically, um, Starmie outpaced Annihilate. Annihilate couldn't get a crit, so Starmie outpaced its recovers. Crit Psychic O calls it. Weird. Yeah. That's why are you ahead of me then? Uh, I just kept clicking the skip button because, you know, how this match makes me feel. Force of habit. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, what just uh, like, uh, when, like, I guess I'll just keep the footage rolling right now. Like, uh, let me know when, like, they, oh. oh, they already started a second? Se On to the game, too. Okay. Right. Good thing they are actually sending this crap. The audience doesn't know the full extent of this, but the first one, you know, the, there was a lot of complications. Roscado was stressed on account of, like, 
university things, so we had to call off the match. And one of the things that was also stressing him was the fact that the replays weren't being sent. None of you guys know that for certain, but there's like a solid 10 minutes of wasted footage. Oh, uh, wait. Let me check again. I'll have to check again after this, but it might be more than that. I originally had Plausible, who was like, God damn, he was trying his hardest to make it work. At one point, they had one match, and then we were just in the VC for like a long ass time, trying to like think of anything to talk about, but they were just not communicating or sending any replays at all. I felt so bad for Plausible. Listen, if there's one silver lining to this, it's that it's funny. It's that the story is as frustrating as it is funny. You know, let's go with that. At the very least, at least I am, like, I'm pretty sure, like, I'm up to speed now. Like, I'm watching the replay at the same time you are. I had a feeling I was behind. But I... Like, I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to, like, just skip the batch. But wait, this is still best of five. Uh, yeah. So, like, maybe that first match got reversed for you guys, but, like, I am confident Roscado can turn this around. So, you're stuck up a lot of matches to a C, so I think we're fine. By the, by the way, Roscado's nicknames are apparently meant to be, like, Mother 3 inspired or Earthbound inspired. Mm -hmm. I don't know the extent because I don't play Earthbound, but I did see Annihilate called Porky, so that, that gave it away. Well, Guy Gives is definitely not in Mother 3, for what I know. It's more so Earthbound-based, probably. Yeah. Alright. Ooh, okay, that's nice. Mm-hmm. Oh. Hmm. Oh! No. There's the Seismic Toss. Yeah. Gonna do decent damage. Paralysis again? Mm hmm Apply the speed drop again. You could probably switch to something else if I'm being honest, but, you know. It's fair that you don't want to take the risk. Yeah, I agree with that. Oh, actually, it's going uh, decently well. There's Headbutt. I remember. I remember, because Roscada outspeeds, Headbutt's flinch is irrelevant. Yeah. But one special drop is all, it, all it's going to take for Hypno to be faster again. Uh, going for a little bit too early oh, no. there. Or, is that? Because you guess, I don't know. I, I, I actually don't know. Well, that's unlucky, despite it being called unlucky. Why is a Hypno called Moose Attack? I'm gonna have to ask Mindery about that one. Oh, you're faster. Do you go for Hepa instead? Oh, right! I forget that. Mmm. Ooh. Ooh. This is a... Oh, dude. I actually never considered that until now. Oh, you might be facing Midori again for uh, Grand Finals. Riscato's gonna keep- Riscato's gonna beat him. And we'll see. Back to the paralysis. You were so faster, that's funny. This might take a while. Yeah, but it's Midori, so we were kind of expecting it. Yeah. Ooh, that's nice. But ironically, I feel way more like it's... a like Griscotto that Ooh, was... Ooh, now you got a free switch. Okay, free switch in the Lapras, that's nice. You don't really care about... Clamp. You're switching the Gengar. Chancy. I feel like I need to keep Spike Does Gengar skip turn, because I feel like whatever reason is just going behind for me. Oh, Gengar getting paralyzed is huge. Oh, that's huge, dude. Yeah, it is. <laughs> How much was that? Was that really just like one damage one of Rizzo? Oh, yeah. There's something that um, I did versus Midori, and I passed it on to Roscado, because otherwise this match would be even worse than it already is. Basically, if you lower your attack, uh, IVs and DVs, Confuse Ray's damage is going to do much less. People because it only factors in your damage. Wait, 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 wait. People weren't already doing that? 
I don't know. I just started doing it because I was desperate to find anything to get an edge on Mittery. I, I thought that was a standard. Wait, it's not? Like, like, I know, like, for, like, I know in regular showdown, if you, like, press, like, you know, you know how, like, you, they can, like, do make make teams for you press or whatever? Press the, the thing for the, sam the sample set or whatever the hell it was. Hmm. Hmm. Um, what's the body slam? Okay. Okay, that's a new development. That Gengar's taking chip. It is. But Starmie is probably going to get a free kill right now, unless they switch, which obviously they would. Oh, Minnery, you threw there. Oh, that's the paralysis is going to bail him out. Or confusion. <laughs> By the way, if you can't tell already, we have another co-host, and it's whoever's like, uh, with Cyber right now. Hey, yeah, for real? Yeah, so real. Can you hear the background noise? Uh, I can't make out anything, anything anyone's saying, but I can, I can hear something back there. It's not a big deal. Ooh. Right, well, what's... Using Bonnie Time at the perfect it's time. Just... Good for you, Minery. Going for confusion. Chansey still yeah, matches the not... hit. A Lapras is taking more and more damage. Oh. I like that play. Okay, I guess it didn't work out for you, which is unfortunate. Chancy. Chancy, uh, Chancy locking in. Yep, uh, there's the crit. That was about to drop, though. Okay, absorb the paralysis. Yeah, once again going for Thunder Wave, which I'm not sure if I agree with. Okay, going back into Tauros. There's Starmie. Uh, another full paralysis! Holy crap! And a crit? A crit lizard. Oh. Yeah, you're not getting no special drops this time. Nope, you're nowhere near as lucky as you were game one. And this is definitely a lot more even than game one. Oh, absolutely. Because game one was just kind of... Game one was just destroying Roscado from all ends. This time, it's a lot more even. Yeah, this time, it's lead Naganado, but it's somehow working out for you. Ironic, I know you said lead Naganado once would be the meta. What? No, it's yeah, no, not, but the fact that it was relevant, but the fact that it's relevant for once is insane. Yeah, like, now, like, meta, I always thought it was, like, an anti-meta, like, anti-lead pick, you know? Yeah, and then I Thunderbolt the Starmie, and I get paralyzed, and then it goes to crap. Hey, when I use Thunderbolt, and it did, I got it a crit. crit. So that's a skill issue. Finally, getting the Hyper Beam, and we finally have a kill, 76 turns in. Reset. You're not gonna be going anywhere with that clamp, by the way. Yeah, why w would you not just switch out? I think Minri probably has this one as well. I would still say that with it, there's pretty much everything on his team, barring Starmie, is paralyzed. So I definitely think Roscado can still clutch it with Naganado uh, if push comes to shove. It's definitely possible, but I would not feel comfortable with just hoping for a Naganado sweep. Because if it was like... I mean, Naganado getting crit is really good until you need it to win the game. Which, as we saw with Creeper. We do have to keep in mind that just the fear of Naganado is going to force Midori, could force Midori into awkward positions. Like this? They were just PP stalling. That doesn't count. I don't know. I I, I would okay. consider I would consider PP stalling to in fact be a pretty awkward situation. Hmm, that's fair. All right, let's see what you switch into. <laughs> you think they're gonna switch? So, anyways, how was your day today?
Uh, it was very boring. Thanks for asking. Oh, finally switching in. Okay. Was, oh, that library can survive two more? That's actually kind of... That's big, actually. Going for Blizzard's interesting. Wait, Blizzard does as much as Body Slam? Okay, you can confuse it again. That's good. Okay. I think you're behind again. Oh, I am. Why did I keep falling? Why did I keep falling behind? What the hell is going on? Well, I'm caught up now. I see we have a Tauros mirror. Yeah, and um, Midori's just screwed now. Oh, looks like. It. Oh, that's okay. I did not. I never factored that. I never factored that. But it is interesting. But now I never would have thought of that. But now piss off because like. I don't know how I keep falling behind. Wait, do I actually need to keep like, pressing skip turn or skip to end? Oh, uh, I don't know. Because, you know, viewers at home. Uh, for those of you who would rather, like, if you want to make sure you're watching these live, you're not missing anything. Uh, if you're afraid to join the Discord server, because like, as you can see here, there's five users. So, like, I believe it's either second theaters or Zash Trees just watching this just without us, like without me and Cyber. So like you want to watch this in real time, I just join the server. The link will be in the description. Okay, so the Gengar gets taken out finally. In comes the Hypno again for Hypno versus Chansey around like what uh I don't know what it's like around sixteen or something. Going back into Chansey's... Okay, there we go. That's Tauros, and... Oh, you just switch back out again. And oh, when they only went for a Psychic. You actually kind of got punished for that play. Well, there's Ice Beam. It's doing decent damage. Are we going back to... That Chansey's special might be lower, but you can still... You can still do the PP stallery. Oh, wait, I think I know where I'm oh, going behind. First. Now that I think about it. Like, I wasn't actually skipping the turns, so they're just spending yeah. counterweight for each other, so it's probably what it is. So, yeah. Uh. Yeah. Well, it's maybe we still got a lot of PP, dude. Holy shit. Okay, while we're waiting for this Chansey Mirror to end, yesterday was Mother's Day, so for those of you at home, did you have a good time? Um, like, my family did it. I got to eat a lot of- shitty diner, and it was terrible. Oh, that sucks. I had a lot of bread, though. Oh, okay. Uh, more psychic special drops, I hate that. Actually, what- Damn! No, oh, well, actually- Tauros could not speed star me anyway, so I don't think it would have been as impact. Oh. Uh, that star me is faster. And it has a, and then the Ganado has a special drop, and the Ganado is also just dead. There's no way, Ch yeah, Chansey's gonna run out of attacking PP. Yeah, this is over, I think. So I had to skip a few turns, so like... What did- oh. Oh, that is so mm -hmm. awkward. But yeah, you kinda had to go for the attack. Oh, that's a special draw. Even the Hypno will be faster. Yeah, there we go. That's the end of the game. So, Cyber, what did you think about that? That sure was something. What am I supposed to think about us? What am I supposed to think about a stall fest? Uh, you're supposed to think to yourself, Damn, bro, that's the stuff. I can't wait to face that tomorrow. Day three is fine, but you know. <laughs> uh, alright, uh, do they have game three? Not yet. 
Uh, but yeah, like, um, let me know in the comments, like, what you did for Mother's Day. I'd like to know. And be sure to ask in the comments what Minori did for Mother's Day as well. Because they probably had some really funny stall oriented shenanigans. Probably, at least. But, can I remind her that this is a best of five? So, very likely that, what's it called? Rashkado could make a comeback. We could see just a, th like a, like from this point on, we could see a 3 0 sweep. But we'll have to see. We will have to see. But I will just reiterate that I do think that Minari has probably been playing better for these games. And here's the link for the potentially last battle. All right. Starmy Mirror once again. So then the Ganadel almost worked for Briscato last game, just not quite. Here we have Koyster. I think Koyster not going down as easily will definitely be huge for Briscato. I feel like Koyster going down in the past very quickly when it didn't need to was a huge misplay. Uh, I'd argue this might be misplayed. I've also noticed that Midori. Yeah, I'd also like to mention that Midori. Um, I'd like to mention that Midori did not have Thunderbolt on Lapras. That was a new. That was a. That was a new thing. Oh yeah, that's right. I didn't even. I didn't even process that. So what were they using instead? Pretty sure it was uh, like Ice Beam. Probably either Blizzard or Psychic, or Blizzard or Ice Beam. A Psychic, Confuse, right? And either and Rest. Maybe one of those slots was Body Slam. Why are you staying in? Why do you keep clan trapping Gengar? Like, you just... You got your... Starmie, like, put to sleep for literally no reason. Really, if anything, Starmie is probably, like, the one of the only things you can sleep sack. Since at least Starmie's fast. Yeah, that's true. So... Oh, so if anything, Starmie's one of the whoa, only whoa, things whoa, that whoa, could whoa, absorb whoa, it. Whoa, 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 what did I just watch right now? Uh, the one time the Gengar switch mattered. Like, oh, to be fair, well, this is a free Alakazam switch. I don't care what you think. Or that, that works too. Yeah, that works, I guess. But not as strong against Gengar for the inevitable chance he switch in. Or, you know, or, you know what I mean. I worded that wrong. Same diff. Yeah, basically same thing. Same difference. Well, there's Headbutt. Uh, yeah, this might take a while. You're not switching out, though. Which, like... I feel like you could switch into Starmie very easily. I feel like Starmie can burn sweep turns on the Hypno of all things. Well, let's we'll see what happens. With the Ghana, though, there's always a chance for a sweep. Oh, excuse me? Uh, there's a lot of words right now, and Intrigued is definitely one of them. Oh, that Hyper Beam missing was fatal, though. Oh, that is so sad. But hey! Thanks to this Gyarados, I now have- I now know what I'm gonna put for the thumbnail. So thank you, Riscato. Pretty sure this Starmie does have Thunderbolt. Or no, no, or- I'm now forgetting. Like... Oh no, it was the Lapras with Thunderbolt. But there goes Gyarados. Gyarados is now dead. Shame though, that was actually pretty cool. Uh, again, I feel like... Recent development, but something threw a wrench in our plans. Oh. Like, once again, like, I feel like they could have been using, hard. like, opportunities to burn the sleep on Starmie. I, to, not Lapras, though, I literally saw Thunderbolt, so... Definitely not that. But the Starmie did wake up right now, so that's good. It's gonna get paralyzed. Yep, there we go.
Okay, Chansey is probably going to wall this Starmie if I have to guess. A spammy Thunder Wave. That, this is going to be fun. So, Cyber, do you see any way that Riscato can win this? Nagana Del Hacks. Mm. Maybe Psychic Special Drops. Maybe. Okay. I'm just I'm just spamming the quick I'm just like spamming the butter right now, making sure I don't fall behind. Yeah, me too, honestly, because they're just gonna keep PP stalling here. Yeah, this is gonna take a while. Oh, I guess I'll say this now while we're waiting for them. Because of how long this first tournament is taking I am really considering for the second tournament to be invite only. And I think it's going to be like so steep that like even I won't play. Like I might just might just keep it as like small as possible with the people that are consistent. And I know for a fact will actually like get their matches done on time. Because I'm really worried like about me. season 3 not happening. Like, like it's going to be really bad if like season 3 doesn't happen by the end of June or like mid-July. And I really don't want to get to that point. Yeah, it's getting starting to get. It's actually starting to annoy me a little bit. I cannot lie. Yeah, it's, uh, the second phase has also been getting annoyed by it. I know. To be fair, like you know, studies and all that. That that definitely is relevant. But yeah, you know, and that's part of the reason why season three I know won't be anywhere near as bad, because like ideally everyone should be in you know, a summer summer break by then. You know, I was going to write something really stupid, but now I decided not to, so you're welcome, Cyber. It would have made you very upset. Mm -hmm. But I'm warning you right now, if Zach and Theus have something in the chat, I will type it again. Uh, that stalled. Oh, Zach and Theus, please don't. I, I, I really don't agree with Stomp on Tauros, by the way. I mean, to be fair, Midori is such an edge case that we don't agree on most of the things they're doing. But hey, somehow it's working, so I guess there's that. Yeah, but even with Confused Rift, it goes a lot better than Stomp. Well, it seems to be working for them just fine. Well, yeah, but that's because Midori has high charisma, which means they automatically win the battle. Well, being lucky also helps them. Just saying. Uh... Oh, looks like uh, Zach and Theus said, damn, that urn was supposed to be during the T-Wave spam. My replay was super behind. Sorry, folks. Uh, oh, so yours wasn't the only one. Zach. Uh, mine was also behind. <clears throat> now, don't get too upset. All right, viewers at home, before you guys get upset... You might be you might have seen the raid boss win, but he has to face the final boss. Alright. Definitely true. So here's what's gonna go down, ground. And I'm doing this in the video. Ideally, Zach and Theus will be co-host for very obvious and somewhat poetic reasons. But if he's not possible, you would want to have a backup plan just in case. Oh. And because of that, ideally, we already know Wednesday, well, actually, I do end school tomorrow, and Wednesday would also be free. So if Zach and Theus is available on tomorrow afternoon or Wednesday afternoon, we might be able to end this in the next couple of days. I might try to have two co-hosts available to... One, like, that's, like, really qualified, like, like, Zach and Theus or Satina, and then someone like Shelly. Honestly, I unironically think Shelly might have been a better co-host just because the crap, he, just because the garbage he says is unironically funny. And because he half the time makes the right prediction. And it's weird. He trusts the process the most. Yeah. 
Also, like, I'm sure you really like what me and Zacanthea said in the showdown chat. I'm just gonna re throw it, and you guys are gonna see the honest Cyber DJ reaction. <laughs> Alright, should be fun. I'm trying to find it because there's like a hundred replays, a hundred turns here. It's what do I by think the way, I'm gonna. It's 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 on the final turn, turn one away. What the deep? You guys are not cooking with you. Got you complain about you can literally never complain about my nicknames like ever again. <laughs> uh, man, what the dippity damn double zam are you talking about? I think at this point, we could honestly just cut the video right here, since yeah, there isn't much else we should be talking about. Yeah, like, uh, I already updated the bracket. It will only change one more time, that's for Grand Finals. And what- I noticed the bracket has a 51 if necessary. I'm not even sure what that's for, but it doesn't matter. The point is, very soon, Cyber DJ will finally get his rematch with, uh, what's it called? Literary. That should be- very, very interesting, and the co-host I might have, depending on when the match actually happens, should be even more interesting. So, Cyber, have any closing thoughts before you have to have your match? Well, Midori might be pretty sure of himself to be facing a fellow raid boss, but he already knows that the person that he should be looking out for, well, as well, is the final boss. And remember, there was one person that beat Midori, myself. And I'm not just fighting for myself. He eliminated Robot Plush, he eliminated Zastrily, and he eliminated Roscado right now. That's three people I was very keen on facing, and Midori squandered that opportunity. He plays me for like 500 freaking turns, Place for another 400 turns, and now he takes away a person I was just so keen on facing. Hmm. So sounds like you're motivated. Oh, hell yeah. Well, we have a lot of fun things to go over. I'm pretty sure the thumbnail for this video is really going to be Hypno and Gerardo, so hopefully that quick beta will be some of you in the quickness and watching it. But, uh, Ooh, grand fiction. <laughs> Grand Finals should be very s soon, so thank you all for watching. This is Groundback, and until next time, I look forward to hearing from you.